Hi students, today we are going to study a new topic that is force of spin. Okay, I know you have heard about this. So it is a delivery which is, uh, use, uh, which is conducted using the obstetrical forces. So the operating vaginal delivery refers to any delivery process which is assisted by vaginal operation. So which are of vaginal operation and assisted by any any instrument that is known as operative vaginal delivery that can be uh, using forceps or windows or any destructive operation so generally we call it as operative vaginal delivery so among that the first uh, the most common is forceps delivery so what is forceps delivery it means extracting the fetus with the aid of obstetric forceps so what we are doing we are trying to extract the fetus with the help of a type of instrument that is obstetrical forceps when we are using it uh, when it is inadvisable or impossible for the mother to complete the delivery by her own efforts you know for the normal delivery the mother should uh, exert her own pressure she should exert bear down effort so when it is not possible or it is inadvisable like in case of cardiovascular disease the mother is having any cardiovascular disease and it is contraindicated for the mother that she should not uh, bear down she should not take strenuous activities so in all that cases it is an inadvisable for the bearing down effort of the mother so in that cases if we are using the help of we are taking the help of obstetrical forceps in order to extract the fetus that is forceful forceps delivery so it means extracting the fetus with the aid of obstetrical forceps when it is inadvisable or impossible for the mother to complete the delivery by her own efforts the forceps not only in these cases it is also used for example in breech presentation so after the delivery of buttocks and the trunk and even the arms so then after that if we are uh, for the delivery of coming head after coming head in bridge presentation for that also we can use this force of delivery and on an occasion uh, to withdraw the head up and out of the pelvis at cesarean section so while cesarean section in order to withdraw the head up and out of the pelvis because if already the engagement has happened but due to some emergency condition, we are doing this cesarean section. In that case also, so we draw the head up and out of the pelvis, we, we can use the forceps. So forceps are used and this, um, it is used when it is inadvisable for the mother to exert the pressure. And if it is impossible for the mother, and even in the after coming head in the bridge presentation, and um, if in the pair uh, to withdraw, head up and out of the pelvis of the cesarean section okay so now this is basically this is a force of so you can see which are the parts and how it is so now we will go in detail so what is the definition of a forceps so obstetrical forceps is a pair of instruments especially designed to assist extraction of the fetal head and thereby accomplishing the delivery of fetus so here as you know, the forceps is a pair of two instruments are there. So it is a pair, one pair, a pair of instruments and it is designed to for the extraction of the fetal head. So the main purpose of the forceps is for the extraction of the fetal head and after the extraction of fetal head, thus thereby the delivery of the fetus is completed, thereby accomplishing the delivery of the fetus. So it's a pair of instruments specially designed to assist the extraction of the fetal head and thereby accomplishing, finishing the delivery of the fetus. So there are various types of obstetrical forceps are available. So Peter 1 and Peter 2, they are from the Chamberlain family. They invented the forceps around AD 1600 and more than 700 of varieties of forceps were invented and later they modified it also. But only three varieties we are commonly using it in obstetrics. Okay, so we will see. So first one is long curved forceps with or without axis traction device. Long curved forceps with or without axis traction device. And then short curved forceps then key lamp forceps. These three forces are most commonly used nowadays. Long curved forceps with or without the axis traction device. Then short term, sorry, short curved forceps then key lamp forceps. So these three forceps are most commonly used. So this, uh, the basic, we will see the basic construction of the forces and the, in, uh, the basic construction will be same in this tree. Okay. Uh, 
so here uh, and uh, we will go uh, so this is the forceps you can see the forceps the, this is the long one this is the short one this is the forceps and you can see the different parts and uh, then we will go in detail about the parts of the forceps in the later slides so this is the long form obstetric forceps so all these are available in our lab now so we are going in detail about the long curved obstetrical forceps so when we compare it with the other forceps, short curve forceps and key line forceps, the long curve obstetrical forceps is relatively heavy and it is about 37 centimeter long. Okay. And thus variety is commonly used. It is comparatively, uh, in the, uh, as we said, the long curve obstetric forceps is relatively high, heavy, but compare yeah, among this long curve um, obstetrical forceps, one dash variety is there. It is a little lighter compared to the above one. It is slightly shorter than it. Okay. And then the measurement is, as we said, 37 centimeter or 15 inch. And between the tips, the, you know, the tip of the blade. It is the tip. The difference between the tips is 2.5 centimeter. And if we see the curve, the blade, the widest diameter between the blade is 9 centimeter. Okay. So the length is 37 centimeter, this distance between the tips are 2.5 centimeter and the widest diameter between the blade is 9 centimeter. Okay, now there are two blades, you can see two blades are there, one is right and another one is left and how we will call right or left, because by seeing that itself we can see which one will be inserted in the which side of the maternal pelvis. Okay, so right and left, left blades so that when we keep it, दोनों को लेंगे कौन सा कौन से साइड में जनरल पेल्विस के कौन से साइड में जाएगा ऐसे हम उसको नाम देते हैं ओके देन लॉक एंड हैंडल विद और विदाउट स्क्रू सो हियर यू कैन सी दिस आर द ब्लेड ये ये जो है ब्लेड्स है ओके ये ब्लेड है और ये कर्व है ये ब्लेड्स में टू कर्व्स होता है दिस इज ये अंदर अंदर के स्पेस में बेबी का हेड होगा इसलिए वी विल कॉल इट अफेली कर्व and bahar metal pelvis se contact me rahega so this is pelvic curve understood this is the um, cephalic curve and this is the pelvic curve okay the in blades may as we said it has got two curves this is the cephalic curve which comes in relation to the metal, um, fetal head and here this is the pelvic curve here and here this is the pelvic curve of the blade because it comes directly in relation to the maternal pelvis and this is shank this is the handle the space in between the blade and the handle is known as shank okay and now here this is the handle you can see this groove so it is finger guard okay and here it is a lock is there so basically this is the structure and we said that the length uh, length is 37 centimeter or 15 inch the tip uh, the tip distance and then we said the widest diameter okay the tip distance how much was it? It is 2.5 centimeter tip distance here. The tip distance is 2.5 centimeter and the widest diameter it is 9 centimeter between the blades. The widest diameter 9.5 centimeter. Okay, so this is the part. So this is the blade. This is the blade. It has got two curves, cephalic curve and pelvic curve. This is the tip. This is the shank. This is the hand. This is the lock. Okay. Here again, once again, the right, this is the right blade because this blade will be going to the right side of, you can just imagine how the mother is lying. So it will go to the right side of the mother. So this is the right blade, this is the left blade, left blade, the cephalic curve, pelvic curve, the shank, lock, finger guard and hand. Okay, understood? Next, the blade. When we see the blade, once again, you really, here you can see the blade here it is a fenestration or a hole is there okay we just okay now the blade is fenestrated to facilitate a good grip of the fetal head 
फिटी हेड को अच्छे से पकड़ने के टाइम एक ग्रिप होना चाहिए टू मेंटेन दैट ब्लेड में फेनेस्ट्रेशन दिया गया है एंड देयर इज यूजुअली अ स्लॉट इन द लोअर पार्ट ऑफ द फेनेस्ट्रम ऑफ द ब्लेड्स टू अलाउ द अपर एंड ऑफ द एक्सट्रैक्शन रोड टू बी फिटेड द टो ऑफ द ब्लेड रेफर्स टू द टिप एंड द हील टू द एंड ऑफ द ब्लेड दैट इज अटैच्ड टू द शैंक सो ये बोला हमने हियर ये तो टिप दिस इज टिप एंड दिस हियर एज अ ग्रू होता है एंड इट इज कनेक्टेड टू द शैंक the blade uh, we have we as we said it has got two curve pelvic curve and cephalic curve pelvic curve the curve on the edges to fit more or less curve on the axis of the birth canal and then uh, this is also known as curve of carus okay and cephalic curve so all this you know next the shank the shank is the part between the blade and the lock and usually it is 6.25 cm and it increases the length of the instrument and thereby facilitates the locking of the blades outside the vagina so jaise agar shank ka length increase hoga to instrument ka length increase hoga and ye locking of the blade ke liye outside of the valve valve andar humne blade insert kar diya bahar hame shank and then handle rahega to locking of the blade ke liye shank will be helpful then lock this lock common method of articulation ek socket system hota hai ek ke andar dusra dal diya so socket system hota hai and usko hum english lock bolte so the lock is otherwise known as english lock in this cases agar english lock wale forces hai in this case the first left blade should be inserted first okay if it is a english lock system if the handle has got english lock system then the left blade has to be introduced first into the maternal pelvis okay then the handle handles are opposed when the blades are articulated handles 12.5 cm and handles where we can see the finger guard finger hum isme rakh ke traction dene ke liye and in some blade there we can see the screw स्क्रू है ताकि उसको फिक्स करके रखे ब्लेड्स को एंड इट हेल्प्स टू कीप द ब्लेड्स इन पोजीशन सो यू नो द मेजर पार्ट्स ऑफ दिस वन फोर्सेस ब्लेड ओके ब्लेड इन द ब्लेड वी हैव टू सी द टिप एंड इट दिस द टिप बेस इट इज कनेक्टेड टू द शैंक इन द ब्लेड देयर इज फेनेस्ट्रेशन ग्रिप मिलने के लिए है ये सेफैलिक कर्व है जो हेड से कनेक्टेड रहेगा एंड ये पेल्विक कर्व है जो मेटल पेल्विक से कन्वर्ट रहेगा देन शैंक है वो लॉक एंड नहीं तो द हैंडल एंड ब्लेड के बीच में द एरिया इज नॉन एट शैंक एंड व्हेन द शैंक इज इंक्रीज द इंस्ट्रूमेंट का लेंथ इंक्रीज होगा सो वंस अगर हमने दिस फोर्सेस आर इंसर्ट इंसर्टेड देन दिस विल हेल्प फॉर लॉकिंग द शैंक इज हेल्पफुल इन लॉकिंग द ब्लेड्स blades this is the lock if it is socket system like blade, uh, lock then we will call it as english lock if we are using the english lock system that type of forces then the left blade should be inserted first this is the finger guard uh, it will be helpful for the traction then here this is the handle and in some forces we can see the grip will be there like this some grooves will be there it is for the easy grip okay okay next this is the short curved obstetrical forces can see the length is comparatively short compared to the long curved obstetrical forceps in the short curved obstetrical forceps it is lighter long curved forceps se compare karke dekhenge to 1 by 3 of the weight hi hai and instrument is short kyunki shank and handle ka length kam hai isliye uh, the short forceps hai okay and it has a cephalic curve thoda bada rahega uh, pelvic curve thoda hi rahega slight pelvic curve कर्व जो है वो थोड़ा कम रहेगा इसको हम रिग्लेस फोर्सेस भी बुलाते हैं शॉर्ट कर्व ऑब्स्ट्रिकल फोर्सेस इज अदरवाइज नोन एज वन वैरायटी दैट इज नोन एज रिग्लेस फोर्सेस वो ये मेनली आउटलेट फोर्सेस है पेल्विक आउटलेट यू नो सो अगर आउटलेट में आके हेड आके अटका हुआ है तो हम क्या यूज करेंगे ये रिग्लेस फोर्सेस यूज करते हैं क्योंकि ये आउटलेट फोर्सेस है लाइट वेट है एंड लेंथ 27.5 सेंटीमीटर and maximum distance between the closed blade is 7.5 and tip of the blade is 2.7 cm so tip ke difference 2.7 reg closed blade uh, blade uh, with the maximum distance between the closed blade is 7.5 and the tip of the blade is 2.7 cm okay now this is the keel and forceps ye long hai and it is almost straight okay 
and uh, here access traction hum use me kar sakte without any access traction device we can use this forceps and it's my sliding lock hota hai through this actually this key line forceps is usually used for the if for example ki uh, head achhe se rotate nahi ho raha hai mal rotation rotate nahi ho raha hai rotate karke head ko nikalna hai to hum key line forceps use karenge okay it has got a sliding lock which facilitates the correction of the head agar rotate nahi ho raha hai to usko rotate karwa ke fir head ka delivery karwana padega one small knob on each side blade is directly directed towards the occiput ye blade blade ke uh, each blade ke udhar small um, ek small knob rahega wo occiput ke udhar direct karta hai So this we said release forces, regular forceps, but the short curve forceps है. उसका shank and handle थोड़ा छोटा है, इसलिए वो forceps short curve forceps है. Now you can see, okay now, uh, outlet forceps operation, low forceps operation, mid forceps operation and high. Outlet forceps operation मतलब outlet तक आया है fetal head, but now it is uh, we are finding difficulty for the delivery of the fetal head. मतलब हमें स्कैल्प कहा दिखाई दे रहा है वजल इंड्रॉइटस के उधर हमें दिखाई दे रहा है पेल्विक फ्लोर के लेवल तक फीटस का ला गया है एंटीरियर पोस्टीरियर डायमीटर में फीटस का सजेटल सूचर लाइक कर रहा है नहीं तो राइट और लेफ्ट ऑक्सीपुटा एंटीरियर पोस्टीरियर पोजीशन में तो इस केस में हमें शॉर्ट फोर्स का ही जरूरत है सो रिग्लिस फोर्स विल बी अंडरस्टूड मतलब आउटलेट तक आ गया है फीटल है so in order to remove that in order to again facilitate the delivery of the fetal head only this outlet forces is needed that is regular forces will be enough now low forces operation means here fetal skull is ischial spine ke niche aa gaya hai okay that is plus 2 cm station agar hum dekh rahe hain to plus 2 cm aur zyada lekin abhi tak pelvic floor mein nahi pahuncha that is उसमें हम सिमसन्स फोर्सेस यूज करते हैं लो फोर्सेस ऑपरेशन अनदर टाइप ऑफ इट इज नॉट कॉमनली नहीं है हमें डायरेक्ट हम ओनली वी आर फोकसिंग ऑन थ्री दैट इज लॉन्ग कर्व फोर्सेस देन शॉर्ट कर्व फोर्सेस देन की लेंथ फोर्सेस ओके नाउ सो हियर लो फोर्सेस ऑपरेशन मींस फीटल स्कल का स्टेशन 2 सेंटीमीटर और मोर है बट अभी तक वो पेल्विक फ्लोर को टच नहीं किया है लेकिन आउटलेट में पेल्विक फ्लोर में टच कर दिया है अंडरस्टूड सो इन दिस केस सिमसन्स फोर्सेस विल बी यूज्ड Now, mid forces operation means people had engaged, already engagement हो गया है, and station is plus two centimeter or less. Ischial spine के वो भी हो सकता है. Is in this case we have to use the key line. Engaged हो गया है, but station plus two or less है. Above the ischial spine भी हो सकता है. In this case key line forces हमें use करना है. Okay, so This excluded है, we will not discuss regarding this. इसमें तो head both ऊपर हैं, okay? So we need only this three mainly. Outlet forces operation के लिए we will use the release forces, Simpson forces, low forces operation के लिए, mid forces op uh, operation, key line operation के लिए key line forces का use करते हैं. Now you can see, you can see here outlet forces में हमने बोला pelvic floor muscles को touch कर दिया है feet में, अब इस उस को बाहर आना है. तो शॉर्ट कर्व का ही जरूरत है लो फोर्सेस में क्या है फ्लोर को अभी तक टच नहीं किया है ओके सो हियर यू कैन सी द डिफरेंस हियर फीचर्स का इधर तक आ गया इधर अभी तक पेल्विक फ्लोर को टच नहीं किया है सो लो फोर्सेस डिलीवरी एंड दिस इज आउट्स आउटलेट फोर्सेस सेक्शन ओके ओके नाउ हाउ दिस इज अप्लाइड आप देख सकते हो कैसे अप्लाई किया है द ब्लेड्स कैसे है देखो फेंस्ट्रेशन ग्रिप के लिए है ऐसा किया है देन इधर ओके Here also you can see how it is applied the forceps. Now there are different uh, forceps blade apply करने का types है. First one is cephalic application. The blades are applied along the sides of the head, grasping the biparietal diameter in between the various parts of the blades. इधर हम क्या करेंगे? ये जो blades हैं हम insert कर रहे हैं. Biparietal diameter के थ्रू करें। You can just imagine एक fetus का imagine करो, parietal diameter imagine करो, two parietal eminence, parietal bone, 
फिर उसके सेंटर में पराइट लेमिनेंस है तो प्रोजेक्शन में उसको पराइट लेमिनेंस बोलते हैं तो दो एमिनेंस के बीच में जो डायमीटर है वही पराइट डायमीटर तो the blades are applied along the sides of the head grasping the biparietal diameter the blade ke andar biparietal diameter rahega and wo blade ka widest part ke andar rahega understood the long axis of the blades corresponds more or less to the occipital mental plane of the fetal head it is a, so this is the ideal method kaise karna hai hame blade jo hum blade insert kar rahe hain blade ka widest diameter biparietal diameter mein rahega that is a phallic application okay now in this case क्रेनियम में जो कंप्रेशन होगा वो कम रहेगा ओके एंड देन पेल्विक एप्लीकेशन मींस व्हेन द ब्लेड्स ऑफ द फोर्सेप्स आर अप्लाइड ऑन द लैंडर पेल्विक वॉल्स इग्नोरिंग द पोजीशन वॉल हियर हम हेड को कंसंट्रेट नहीं कर रहे बेबी का हेड का पोजीशन कैसे भी हो वी आर नॉट कंसंट्रेटिंग ऑन हियर वी आर इग्नोरिंग इट वी आर अप्लाइंग ऑन द लैंडर पेल्विक वॉल सो मैं सही पेल्विक वॉल के लैटरली हम अप्लाई करते हैं दिस पेल्विक एप्लीकेशन सो फैलिक एप्लीकेशन हम हेड को फोकस करके हम डाल रहे हैं इन पेल्विक एप्लीकेशन में वी आर इग्नोरिंग द पोजीशन ऑफ द हेड वी आर इंसर्टिंग द ब्लेड ऑफ द फोर्सेप्स इन द लैटरल पेल्विक वॉल्स इफ द अगर हेड रिमेंस अनरोटेटेड तो दिस टाइप ऑफ एप्लीकेशन कुछ सीरियस अगर अनरोटेटेड है डायरोटेट नहीं हुआ इन दिस केस अगर हम पेल्विक एप्लीकेशन कर रहे हैं तो ज्यादा कंप्रेशन होने का चांसेस है इसलिए इट शुड बी अवॉइडेड नाउ इंडिकेशंस ऑफ फोर्सेस डिल ओके हमने क्या है फोर्सेस पढ़ा देन व्हाट द पार्ट्स डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ फोर्सेस एंड पार्ट्स ऑफ द फोर्सेस ओके now the indications in all in all which all patients we can which all mother we have to use this first delivery first one is delaying the second stage okay second stage ka duration we know the normal duration of second stage but if it if we are feeling that second stage is prolonging or in case mother is having some medical condition or mother is not able to bear now or the baby is preterm baby in that case second stage jada वेट हम नहीं कर सकते सेकंड स्टेज के लिए हमें शॉर्टन करना पड़ेगा सेकंड स्टेज ओके प्रोलॉन्ग डिले वर ऐसे सब केसेस में हमें सेकंड स्टेज डिले कर रहे हैं वो कंडीशन है इन इस सम मेटर्नल इंडिकेशंस देन मेटर्नल डिस्ट्रेस मदर इस एक्सोस्टर मदर टायर्ड है नाउ शी विल नॉट बी एबल टू बी अरेट आउट सो इन दैट केस आल्सो वी कैन अप्लाई द फोर्सेस then pre eclampsia and eclampsia cases in here here also we cannot expect more uh, cooperation from the mother and it, it will be it it will affect the mother also so post delivery use karna padega heart disease in that case also mother will not be able to or it is contraindicated for the mother to bear down then failure to bear down and mother is doing her taking her effort but it is not in it is not adequate inadequate expulsive efforts then some fetal indications like baby is going to distress so in that case also we can use post cord prolapse After coming at breech extraction normally, buttocks the buttocks and leg का delivery हो गया, trunk का delivery हो गया, shoulder का delivery हो गया, तो अभी head का delivery करवाने के लिए जब breech presentation हमने पढ़ा था, तो हम fourth एक management में fourth extraction भी था, so that can be used post maturity and prolong. These are the indications. Okay. Now the pre it is very it is very important the prerequisites of fourth delivery. Prerequisites. कोई भी मदर को अगर हम फोर्स ऑफ एक्सट्रैक्शन करवा रहे हैं तो उसके पहले कुछ क्राइटेरिया फॉलो करना जरूरी है ये क्राइटेरिया सब चेक करने के बाद ही हम फोर्स ऑफ एक्सट्रैक्शन करवा सकते हैं ये सब होना चाहिए देन ओनली वी कैन कंटिन्यू विद फर्स्ट डे इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो यू शुड सो फर्स्ट वन इज द सर्विक्स मस्ट बी फुल्ली डायलिटेड एंड ए फेस फुल्ली डायलिटेड होना चाहिए सर्विक्स एंड ए फेस में भी हंड्रेड परसेंटेज होना चाहिए अंडरस्टूड so we should be fully dilated and cervical effacement be hona chahiye membrane structure hona chahiye bina rupture okay and fossil extraction nahi kar sakte bina 10 cm pura dilatation ke bina hum fossil extraction nahi kar sakte bina cervical effacement ke hum fossil extractions nahi kar sakte okay the head and head encased hona chahiye okay head should be encased then there should there should not be cpd so allopelvic disproportion nahi hona chahiye bladder must be emptied okay then good uterine contractions hona chahiye we have to see that the uterine contractions are in a formal then analgesic analgesia should be given then episiotomy also we have to give then uh, experienced birth person should conduct this delivery and i uh, one point i forgot you have to add up 
informed consent should be taken. Understood? So, how points are there? First, cervix ke bolenge, cervix dilated hona chahiye, cervix effaced hona chahiye, head engaged hona chahiye, membrane structure hona chahiye. Uh, then, cephalopelvic misproportion is a obstetrical contraindications may hona chahiye, bladder empty karma hona chahiye, put in frank and faction hona chahiye, have uh, analgesics dena padega, episiotomy dena padega, consents lena hai, and experienced person karma hona chahiye. Okay. And ye karne se pehle hame fir se ek bar bar head ka position sab achhe se dekhna padega. Okay. Once again, I am repeating which points may extra either add kar rahe, we should remember. Cervix fully dilate hona chahiye, face hona chahiye, membrane should be ruptured, head engaged hona chahiye and hum perceptive subtraction karne se pehle again we should see whether the head ka position achhe se hai ki nahi. CPD aisa kuch contraindications nahi hona chahiye, bladder empty kam hona chahiye, uterine contraction should be sufficient, analgesics hona chahiye, episiotomy karna chahiye and then experienced person hona chahiye and then informed consent should be taken. Okay, these are the criteria or prerequisites to be fulfilled before forces delivery. Okay, yes, sub cheese agar hai, then only we can proceed with forces delivery. Understood? This same thing we have to follow in another operative vaginal delivery that is windows. Okay, vacuum extraction may be a same almost same criteria follow karte. So you should remember in viva it is very commonly asked question and even in exam it is commonly used action the prerequisites before application of the forceps delivery. Now the procedure. Procedure actually for being a nurses we are it is not necessary but still we should know some idea. So, vulval area should be thoroughly clean. We have to give position to the mother. Bladder empty should be empty. If not empty, we have to insert the catheter. We have to empty the bladder. We have to do a examination. We have to confirm the station and exact position of the fetal head. We have to do a lignocaine infiltration. The episiotomy should be uh, maybe done. Sometimes, in some cases, a blade ins uh, insert karne se pehle kar de sakte episiotomy otherwise jab hum traction dete hain tab jab perineum bulged out hoga thin hoga tab hum de sakte hain hame forceps identify karna padega kaun sa left hai kaun sa right hai and usko sab cheezon ko assemble karke rakhna hai to humne jaisa bola left blade agar english lock system hai to First left blade has to be inserted. The left blade is passed gently between the perineum and the fetal head. First two fingers, um, whoever is doing the procedure, operator hand, ke, first two fingers of the operator hand lying along the side of the fetal head protect. Na to. Pehle, what we have to do, we hand to proceed kare, unka hand vaginally insert karna padega, baby ke head ke udar tak leke jana pade, first two fingers, and wo se hi hum left blade ko insert karenge. Okay, and proceed same procedure we have to repeat with the right blade. Okay, and then uh, easy uh, lock karenge. Agar achhe position blades dono achhe position mein to it will be easy to lock. Me dekhna padega in between handle ke beech mein gap hona nahi chahiye. Agar gap hai, to uska matlab uh, blades hamne achhe se correct position mein nahi hai, to hamne remove karke fir se karna padega. Okay. Then as soon as agar operator ready hai, humne insert kar diya, uterus well contract ho raha hai, humne mother ko push karne ke liye hum encourage karwa sakte hai and uh, uh, the obstetrician ko extra, forceps mein extra deep downward traction de sakte hai and ek ke contraction ke beech mein, jo traction hum dete hai, wo traction contraction ke beech mein relieve karne ka nahi dene ka. Uh, intermediate contraction is continued in a downward and backward direction until the head comes. So, we apply here forceps. Then we have to provide traction, intermittent traction. Let's say uterine contraction, hoka, tra traction. Then we have to downward and backward direction. We have traction. Then what we have to do horizontally, we have to hand ke jo kar rahe, unke hand ke horizontally pull karna hai. Okay? And then Head almost crowning the kagia at the home kapana padega, a direction of pull ko thoda, other ke abdomen ki or lake jana padega. Okay. Pella downward traction to hum there, fir her contraction ke beach methoda 
ट्रैक्शन रिलीज करना पड़ेगा इंटरमीट्रियन ट्रैक्शन दे रहे तो डाउनवर्ड एंड बैकवर्ड डाउनवर्ड एंड बैकवर्ड डायरेक्शन में देंगे जब पेरनी जब हेड पेरनियम तक कहा गया है तब हम क्या करेंगे होरिजोंटली पुल करेंगे फीटर हेड को फोर्सअप्स को क्राउनिंग तक ओके ना उसके बाद हम इसको ऊपर के और मदर के अपडोमेन के और पुल करेंगे सो हेड एक्सटेंशन के थ्रू डिलीवर हो जाएगा फिर ब्लेड्स रिमूव करना है दोनों एक साथ नहीं राइट राइट फैले उसके बाद लेफ्ट ओके ऐसा रिमूव करना है द फॉलोइंग बर्थ ऑफ द हेड यूशुअल प्रोसीजर आर टू बी फॉलोड इन द नॉर्मल डिलीवरी बाकी जो भी हम यूशुअल नॉर्मल डिलीवरी में फॉलो करते हैं सेम चीज हमें फॉलो करना है अदर जिन देते हैं एक्सोटमी प्रिपेयर करना पड़ेगा हमें अंडरस्टूड सो दिस इज uh no procedure so in this uh, of course we have to just downward and backward direction the perineum the fetal head aa jata hai horizontal direction mein dene ka par crowning tak dena hai uske baad aur uh, chain mother subdomain tak dena padega okay so you can see no the preparation of the woman for the procedure what are the preparation the this mother ko prepare karna hai मदर को पहले से ही हमें बताना पड़ेगा कि व्हाट आर द प्रोसीजर प्रोसेस डिलीवरी देन फुल प्रोसीजर के बारे में फुल एक्सप्लेन करना है एंड व्हाट इज द नीड और एवरीथिंग हैज टू बी एक्सप्लेन टू द मदर वंस द डिसीजन हैज बीन मेड प्रॉपर एनालिसिस देना पड़ेगा इंपॉर्टेंट पोजीशन बोथ लेग मस्ट बी प्लेस सिमिलटेनियसली टू अवॉइड स्ट्रेन ऑन द वुमेंस बैक एंड हिप्स ओके दोनों लेग को सिमिलटेनियसली एक के बाद एक रखना पड़ेगा ताकि स्ट्रेन अवॉइड करे वुमेन के बैक का और हिप में ये तो और कॉम्प्लिकेशन हो सकता है जब हम फोर्सेस सप्लाई करते हैं वी नीड सपोर्ट फ्रॉम द मदर मदर को जब अप्लाई करोसीजर वी नीड टू मॉनिटर दीचर हार्ट रेट and we have to prepare everything for the baby receiving of the baby also in the station anything is similar you know like will should be present okay what are the complications so we know it's for operative vaginal delivery so it has got some complications this complication in some cases it may be to the faulty technique agar humne bola pre procedure mein said extreme cause there should be there if faulty technique use kiya to it can it will also lead to the uh, complications aur humne process acche se apply nahi kiya properly we have not applied the process that also, also will lead to the many complications okay so in the mother immediate complication injury एक्सटेंशन हो सकता है वजनल लैसरेशन सर्वाइकल टेयर यूरिथ्रा मतलब यूरिनरी सिस्टम में भी अफेक्ट यूरिथ्रा में ब्रोइसिंग एंड ट्रॉमा हो सकता है इमीडिएट कॉम्प्लिकेशंस देन पीपीएच पोस्ट पार्टम हेमरेज बिकॉज़ ऑफ ट्रॉमा और क्रोनिक फीचर्स देन शॉक ड्यू टू ब्लड लॉस फॉर लॉन्ग टर्म एंड डिहाइड्रेशन इंफेक्शन ओके लेट कॉम्प्लिकेशंस में क्रॉनिक लो बैक है बिकॉज क्योंकि हमने बोला था कि सिमिलटेनियसली दोनों लेग्स को रखना है लेकिन अपनी पोजीशन properly we have to give so that strain jada nahi dene ka because uh, lithotomy position agar dete hain aur hum forceful extraction kar rahe hain to there is tension ho raha hai matlab ligaments tense ho raha hai so that will lead to chronic low back pain that is late from the immediately nahi hoga after few years the mother may develop this complication the genital collapse or stress in the okay, these are the complications for the mother now in the infant immediate asphyxia intracranial hemorrhage the hematoma facial paralysis because jab hum blade in process dal rahe hain to there can be some nerve injury facial nerve injury ho sakta hai that will lead to facial paralysis or some abrasions on the soft tissue of the face okay. you, uh, we are at, uh, extracting the for baby using the forceps so there can be this type of complications So we can see the injury in the complication that is happening to the baby here. That's the facial balancing. Okay, you can see here this hematoma, the ruises. Okay, here this one you can see the blade the shape. Me he go. So these are the 
various complications that can be happen due to the forceps abstraction. Okay. So that is about forceps pedigree. We will just revise what we have discussed in this class. So, forceps delivery mein hum kya karte hai? We are extracting the baby. In which case, agar advisable hai mother take a strain, uh, effort dene ka or mother, it is impossible for the mother to uh, exert pressure or in some cases like in breech extraction after coming head ke liye, ye sab cheezes ke liye hume forceps hum use karte hai. And what is the definition of forceps? Wo ek pair of instruments hai, especially wo fetal head ka extraction ke liye use karte hai, and uske baad the delivery will be accomplished. Different varieties of forceps are available. The most commonly used is long curve forceps, wo with or without axe extraction hai, even short curve forceps and key line forceps. We should remember long curve forceps with or without axe extraction, short curve forceps and key line forceps. Okay. Now the general structure you have to remember. Ye kya hai? This is the blade. Okay. This is the shank. Shank. This is the lock. This is the handle. Understood? Blade, shank, lock, and handle. In this blade, you can see the fenestration is there. Okay. And the curve, the inside curve. This curve is cephalic curve, and this curve is pelvic curve. When the shank or handle ka size length increase, hoga, to ye entire forceps ka size increase. Ho hai. Jab hum, agar hum, this long curved forceps, mein aap dekho, shank and handle are hai. Okay, So it is long curved obstetric forceps. Okay? Now here, the curve, the entire, you can see here, okay, long curved obstetrical forceps, 37.5 cm is the pura length. Okay? Then you can see the blades. This is disconnected one. Articulate ne kiya hai. Okay. Now here curve hai. Ye pelvic curve hoa. Ye under cephalic curve. This is cephalic curve. This is pelvic curve. Okay. Now this is the shank region. This is the law. Idhar dekho idhar ek screw jaise hai. Jaise hamne bola tha. Kisi process mein screw hai. Isko position mein rakhne ke liye. Then this is the hand. Or finger guard bhi hai. This one. Okay. Now here is ko tip bolte hai. When it is closed, here you can see the distance. It will be 2.5 cm and the widest diameter 9.5 cm and their diameter is 37.5 diameter. So when uh, for viva forceps agar de de, you have to say it is stainless steel material hai, and which type of forceps koi bhi de sakte forceps, release forceps. So you have to specify the name of the forceps. Then you have to see the general parts. Okay. Okay, then we uh, short curve, it is otherwise known as release forceps, then key line forceps. Now, we have outlet forceps, ke liye we are using release because we are not under the outlet. Low forceps may issue spine can eat, but when we don't touch the essence and forceps, we use the mid forces of uh, operation, may key line forceps, and keep the station. Ke upar bhi ho sakta hai. Then, uh, then um, this. Mm, cephalic application be a pelvic application. Cephalic application we are concentrating on the uh, fetal head. Um, Biparietal diameter may blade ka widest diameter I know that we are concentrating. In pelvic application may we are ignoring the position of the head. We are concentrating. We are inserting uh, pelvis may as I am insert the right blade of us. Okay. Then indications. You can see the various indication when to uh, in the way, other second stage of delay or the other perspective indication like mother for the eclampsia, eclampsia, mother cardiovascular diseases, or mother is not able to bear down, or mother is not able to bear down, or mother is not able to bear down, or fetal distress may be a post maturity, in some cases, may have post delivery. Okay, what is the prerequisite? So this is very important. Cervix fully dilated on the jelly, at least on the jelly, at the least on the jelly. And before this procedure, again, I may be with the camera, I may be with the position for the reiki knee. Bladder empty on the jelly, CPD as a as a which indicate contraindications on the jelly. Good implant, the action should be there. 
you know, just we get an idea should be given, a student of should be given. Then a concern, then a child is the experience, person, and not really. And like, you know, they just value presence on it. This point of this point, it is known to do them this prediction to make them. Can I name this man? बीबी करने का मतलब हेड का हेड का पोजीशन है डीन हमें एक बार और देखना पड़ेगा वो कोई कोई उसमें विषय को मंगल दें दें इनफॉर्म कंसल्ट का नहीं लिखा है नहीं हमें एक बार डिस्कवर करना है सो यू शुड राइट डाउन दैट आल्सो दें प्रोसीजर इस नॉट दैट मच इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर यू एक चीज है ब्लैडर एंटी Certainly, in some cases, fraction will be just early, when you get the thing to do, and you get the stretch to do, and you get the blade to do, and you get the blade to do, and you get the blade to do. Okay. Then, left blade to do, and then right blade to do, and then lock it down, 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 so head extension के लिए दिल्ली हो जाएगा फिर फिर दिल्ली करना तो उनको साथ में रिमूव नहीं कर सकते पहले राइट को पहले हमने लेफ्ट डाला था लेकिन राइट को पहले निकालेंगे उसके बाद लेफ्ट निकालेंगे फिर जो भी नॉर्मली हम करते हैं एवरीथिंग हैज़ टू बी फॉलोड एस इन नॉर्मल लेवल ओके एंड कॉम्प्लिकेशंस प्रिपरेशन उसमें हमें पता है जो भी व्हाटेवर वी हैव सेड नाउ ड्यूरिंग दिस प्रोसीजर वी हैव टू मूव इट द फेटल फंक्शन एंड मैं जनरल सपोर्ट भी आपको प्रोवाइड प्रॉपर एडवेंचर सपोर्ट भी करने पर मुश्किल है मैं कॉम्प्लिकेशंस में जो रिसर्च में हमने दिया है वो एक्सटेंड हो सकता है इंजरी का इंटरव्यू होता है बेहतर इंजरी या ब्रूसेस हो सकता है उधर सर्वाइकल डीएन होने का चांसेस है कि पीपीएच शॉक इंफेक्शंस ये सब चलता है लेट कॉम्प्लिकेशंस में बहुत साल के बाद मदर में एक्सपीरियंस नो बैक है इन जनरल के पास ऐसा स्ट्रेस में रहता है इन फ्रेंड में देखेंगे तो इंट्राक्रेनियम हैंडेज एस या देन फेशियल पैलेसी अप्रेशंस ऑफ़ सॉफ्ट टिश्यूज़ ऑफ़ फेस फेस एंड ऑफ़ कॉर्डर ओके ऑल दिस एम हार्ड ओके सो दैट इस Doubt in any topic, so next to next, you kindly contact me. Okay, I will be happy to clear your, clear your doubts. Thank you.